Okay, this is just a variation on Twist and Shout. Uh, we can play Twist and Shout with chords. Uh, but there's a little bass line run that we can play before that first D if we want to. It just sounds like this. So the way that we play that is we play the A string with no fingers on, okay, then we put our index finger on the second fret on the A string, okay, then our ring finger goes on the fourth fret of the A string, okay, so we've got that little run, nothing, two, four, then we hit the D string with nothing on, okay, so that's our run, nothing on A, second fret A, fourth fret A, nothing on D. Then we're just going to play the D chord once, play the G twice, and we play the A7 five times. Two, three, four, five, and then we run back into it. Okay, so there goes nothing, two, four, D with nothing, one with strum, down, up, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's possible to play that throughout the whole song. Uh, when we come to the bit where we're just holding the A, oh, 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 normally we would play four sets of eights. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In this variation, we still do the first three sets of eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. When we're doing the fourth one, we just do five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so just for practice, I'm going to run through this four times. Okay, after four of those, we're going to go into our chorus. Uh, uh, remembering that fourth time around, we just go one, two, three, four, five. And I'll go through another four of those just for practice. Okay, so I'll count us in with a one, two, three, not a one, two, three, four. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three. So that's just a little variation you can do on Twist and Shout to make it slightly more interesting to play. I uh, hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you later on.